Hi guys and welcome to binary decimal hexadecimal and octa letter. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. I'm gonna play that. Enter whatever number in there. Click on that. Okay, and you can also exit if you want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now, guys. Hello all and welcome to converter from binary to decimal and to hexadecimal and octet so i'm going to start by clicking on create new project and let's select c sharp i'm going to click on next and here i just enter cs binary converter that would be I'm going to click on create. Okay, the development environment is ready. So I'm going to add the following components to my form here. So let's go to the tools and I'm going to grab hold of a button. Double click on that. Then, and that is the button right there. Okay, I'm going to need that. I'm going to then need text box and labels. So let's come straight to label. There now, uh, one text box. Let's come down here. That's all. That's all I need. These three components. However, I'm going to have to duplicate them. So let's increase the font size. Now let's make that about 24. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. So for the binary, so I'm going to then hold on to the control and just click and drag, copy these. We have two. There we go. So one would be for binary and so on. So let's copy it again. And that's going to be my input text there. Enter text to convert this will be the, okay so that would be to convert clear and exits then one more so let's go back in here let's copy this for my title right bring it all down so I'm going to select all of these components here these are the text box or labels cool. so let's go to the properties here you see where we have auto size i'm going to change that to false the back color i'm going to change it to white the border style i'm going to convert that to fix 3d so that will do so let's just extend it that much so that's fine and come right here let's get rid of the data we have in there and here where we have a line i'm going to get it aligned center so that's good for me next this very text uh, label there i'm going to change the content in there to binary next change that to decimal change this to x decimal and finally this one will be octal there and okay, I'm just gonna enter, let's say enter a number. Very good. All right, you see this text box? Let's change this text box itself to maybe TXT converter, something like that. And change that to multi-line. All right, so my TXT converter is there. So Change that to TXT converter. That's the name for that. And these buttons, this would be my converter button, really. So, and that's going to be known as BTM converter. Next, come right down here, change the text content to converter. This is going to be known as maybe reset or clear. 
player. Player will do. All right. I change the name to DTN. DTN. Play. And finally, this is going to be known as BTN exit. Change the data I need to exit. Go straight to the text box and just change that to exit. Brilliant. That's it all done. Okay, so I'm just going to increase the height of this to about 160. Right. All right. That is fine. And up here, let's change this to maybe conversion system, something like that. It's a conversion system. And let's also increase the font size since it's my title. So I'm going to make that in about 36, make it a little bit more pronounced. And that's it, guys. The interface is ready. All right, so let's take care of the following. So double, let's double click on this button. So double click on the button. And right in here, I want to declare some, uh, let's say, integer. Int. And that is going to be known as number converter. Number converter. Number converter is going to be, let's say, equals. Let's pass some value into it. So, uh, let's say dot pass. So I'm going to accept that. That is it. Done. Now, I'm going to come down here and let's go to LBL. Oh, I don't have name for those labels yet. Oh, well, let's go back. There's no name. Okay, let's change this one to LBL by number. And next is going to be LBL decimal. LBL decimal. Next, LBL hexadecimal. Well, we can just call it LBL hex. And here, LBL, LBL, also. Okay, they all have a name now. So we're back in here. Back in my converter. All right, so let's come down here and just say LBL binary. Okay, so I want that to just convert whatever is in there into binary so let's accept this for now but what i want this to do is just to convert so let's change this one to okay i'm gonna ask it to just convert cut that off convert dot to spring whatever we have in here Format to right, so that's taken care of. So if I run it now and enter whatever in there, any number, let's see, it's coming and enter any value in there, click on convert. There we go, look at that. That's good. So let's repeat the same thing for the others. So let's come down here. This is going to be for the next one will be for LDL decimal. Text. And that is just going to be equals. All we just need to do in the case of decimal is I'm going to accept that for now. But get rid of this because that's a decimal that is fine so the next one 
LBL and we want to convert that to hexadecimal so that's so much 16 and it's going to be followed by octa so let's come down here LBL okay and just yeah, accept all of that and change this one to common fix there we go so if i run it now let's see what's gonna happen enter whatever value in here there we go look at that okay you see that guys that's brilliant like that now supposing the user did not enter any value in here okay and if we run that that's going to give us an error check that out nothing is happening apart from you just end up with an error so to do that to prevent that from happening what i'm going to do is uh, let's use an if statement to check so let's say if txt let's put that in the bracket txt converter dot text equals so equals equals nothing if it's equals nothing or if it's empty I want something to happen else this is what I want the system to do for me okay so in the case of else that would be else and okay so if it's empty so i just want the system to say message box dot show the following message i'm going to close all of these show the message and that is going to be you must enter a number i want to say comma and here just enter the title and say converter system enter another argument that is going to be message box button i'll make that okay then here error error message yeah that's fine Accept that, and I'd also want you to set focus here. So let's say this text box come right down here. Dot focus. All right. So let's try this out. Let's implement something. Let's try that out. If we run it, check out what's going on. Oh, nothing there. So you must enter a number. See the mouse is focusing there and get it converted. See that, guys? Maybe I should get this one centered as well. Select this and go straight to the properties. And let's see, there should be something to get it centered right there. Yeah, center. That's fine. So run again. There we go there that's looking good now one other thing is when we run the system i want the i want the focus here so let's double click double click on form load paste that in run okay all right it's the same anyway so that's one but when you click on it it's right there all right now the next thing we want to do is to clear so let's double click on clear or reset or clear whatever so grab hold of all of these and just and just clear right. 
get rid of this and you can also use you can always say spring.mt that's another way to play and here you can and right here you can just say play as well the string that empty the choice is yours so if that's what you want to use there we go what about this txt txt we can play that as well okay we have set focus i'm gonna accept that but we also need to play it just in case if there's anything in there dot play there and that is that so that takes care of our play and now let's come in here take care of exit so with the exit i'm going to use dialog result dialog result equals let's say my variable name i exit so i'm going to say i exit equal the following let's grab a hold of all of them message box show there and here we just say confirm if you want to exit confirm if you want to exit so we we'll change this one to yes or no dot yes or no and here that will be question dot q right that's done so use a conditional statement if I exit equals that. We just want the let's say application application that exit. That's it done. So that takes care of exit as well. So if we run it now, run it. enter the value to convert. There we go. Clear. Convert, play, exit. No. There. And that's how you create your own converter. Now, let's just do one final thing. Bring this one to center. Run in more time. There we go, guys. So with that, guys, I'm probably the end of this brilliant tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. Right. That helps a great deal. If you're a member, whatever you guys contribute to help in developing more tutorial. So guys, I'm going to say bye for now. You all have a nice day. Bye.